I think you can tell me what's going on now. I had a visit from Elliot today. What? What happened? If he comes near you, or even calls you, I want you to tell me straight away. Why? What happened Just between you Just promise me, Nicole. Yeah. I promise. So what did he want? He wanted to know the truth about his brother's death. Roman, are you okay? I did something terrible, Nick. Something that's stayed with me ever since that day. And you told Elliot this? I didn't tell him the whole truth. I just told him that basically his brother was a coward and not the hero he thinks he was. And he didn't like hearing that, did he? He knew it wasn't the truth. That's what worries me. Will you tell me? I wish I could. Why can't you if it's upsetting you this much? Maybe it's good to get it out. There are things I just... I can't go into. Things that I'm not proud of. And you have to forgive me for that. Okay. If you can't tell me, then I accept that. Not a day goes by. I wish I couldn't have saved Mark. But I know that if things had turned out differently, I wouldn't have gotten to know you. You are the most important thing in my life, Nicole. And I don't know if Elliot's going to come back or not, but I promise you, I will not let him harm you. And I will always protect you, no matter what. Do you understand? I love you, Dad. I have all your tests back. They show you have a small blood clot blocking off an artery in your right lung. Martha, you've had a pulmonary embolism, which can occur post-operatively. It's come from a blockage in a deep vein in your leg. Okay, so what does that mean? It means we have to thin your blood and give you oxygen so it doesn't get any worse. What about my baby? Your baby's fine, Martha. This isn't related to the pregnancy. What about the medication? It won't harm your baby. We'll need to keep you closely monitored for a while and we'll start treatment straight away. The good news is we've picked this up nice and early and it's only a tiny blockage. Thank you. That's a relief. Don't you think? Yeah, of course it is. What is it? I'm happy. I really am. It's not the cancer. But I just don't want to be in here anymore, Jack. Yeah, I know. But it's okay this time. I've done everything right. Organic food, bed rest, and still I end up in here. It's not fair. I know. But the doctors are on top of it this time. You're going to be okay. How can you say that? That's what they said after the last operation, and here we are again. Is this the way it's always going to be? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Nicole, I was wondering if you'd like to have breakfast with me. I would, but I'm going to the gym. Oh, okay. Sure. But we can have a coffee later, if you like. Yeah? I, I mean, yeah, yeah, sure, that'd be great. Um, what do you say I meet you at the diner around 2.30? Sure. Cool. Um, no, okay, so I'll let you guys go. See you later. Oh, so you and Jeff, eh? <laughs> On that note, I am going to the gym. Nicely avoided. Poor old Cone, eh? 
Jeez, I, I wouldn't have believed it, you know. I thought after Brad and Sal, Rachel would be the last one not to show up at her own wedding. I just hope wherever Tony is, he's OK. Hey. Hey, mate. I have some organic muffins straight from the oven. i got a green tea for you, normal tea for you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, they're from Colleen. She says she's going to pop by after lunch. Mm. Uh, could I have a word with you for a minute? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Jack, what's going on? Oh, it's, it's fine. I'm just going to talk to Alf about something. I won't be long, OK? Mm. Oh. Hi, Roman. I bet you didn't expect to see me again so soon. And look who I've got with me. Say hi, Nicole. 